Okay, this is a super quick guide on the CSV importer. So this is the ZBS CRM plugin activated with the CSV importer extension activated and you'll see you've now got three panes for the settings, settings, custom fields and CSV importer. Um, so we'll look at the CSV importer and then I will show you a little bit how to extend it for custom fields. So you go to the CSV importer settings to start with. There's only one setting which is whether you want to save copies of the CSV files that you import um, so that will just keep your list and you'll see an import log and you can click on that and it will download any of your CSVs or if you don't keep that then just untick that so once you've done that head over to data tools and then CSV importer and you're taken to this page choose the file that you want to import so I've got an example file here and then start import now and I'll quickly show you, so then that brings the answers, yep, we've, we found your CSV and I've actually uploaded this one, so you've got prefix, first name, last name, email, status, etc. And I've also added dog type as an additional um, field, so this is something that is just, I made it up, it's random, but I might want to track what dog type or what cat type or anything at all, um, any custom field there. Um, so you'll see at the moment you've got your standard um, fields and you'll have a map dog type at the bottom and this, you can choose to ignore it um, but just having a look at the fields available in the plugin so you, you'll see there isn't actually anywhere to import the dog type so that's not ideal so but it's dead easy to add a custom field because we can't have a dog type as a standard field or anything else like that so we've we picked the main fields that you'd want to import but if you want to import any others Go to custom fields and then under customer, custom fields, do an add a custom field, field name, dog type, um, woolly, fluffy, hound, and then hit save, save custom fields, and you'll see you've got dog type. So then restart the CSV imports process. So choose your file again. CSV, start the import now. And so, do we have a header row? We do. So, we want to ignore that header row. So, prefix, prefix, first name, first name. So, quickly running down each of these. Oops. I'm choosing the relevant field off the spreadsheet. So, status, we do have a status. Um, address 1 and address 2, we have got those as well. Address line 1, address line 2, city, county, and postcode is also there. So make sure that you are. Um, it's just normal telephone. Map telephone will map that to your home telephone. Um, so make sure that all of the standard fields are filled in. So if you're missing a prefix or if you're missing a status, Make sure that you do have those in your CSV, in particular your status, because that will tell you what type of customer this is. And then you'll see dog type now. I can actually map that to dog type, because that is now a field that's in there that we've just added. Hit continue. And then it's just checking that you've got six customers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six customers. Double check that you're mapping the right ones. If you've mapped them to the wrong area, it's not easy to undo, you need to go back and manually remove them. So prefix, first name, last name, everything looks okay there. Hit run import. Added all the customers, added the CSV import to the log. Go into manage customers. You'll see that we've added this person. Taking a look. Filled in the address and dog type hound dog. So that was our Mr. Sample 6. Dog type hound dog. Mr. Sample 6. And that's all there is to this very quick guide.